In previous lessons, students learned that plants are producers because they make or produce their own food through photosynthesis. Animals are not able to produce their own food and get their energy by eating other organisms. Animals are called consumers. Animals that eat plants are known as primary consumers on the food chain. Crickets primarily eat plant material and are serving as the primary consumers in the food chain for our terrarium. Students will observe crickets chewing their food with their mandibles, which are mouth parts located underneath their heads. In Activity 8, students conduct tests to find crickets' food preferences. Students observe how crickets respond to a variety of food preferences and draw conclusions about their preferred food. Crickets are then placed on a simple food chain. This activity will take two sessions. Session one will take about 45 minutes with continuing observation sessions every day for three days. Session two will take about 30 minutes after completing the last observation. The vocabulary introduced in this activity is consumer, food chain, and primary consumer. For each team of two students, you will need from the kit one small plastic container with a lid and a magnifier. For the class, you will need the packet of ryegrass seeds, two spray bottles with a spring water, one roll of masking tape, and a plastic tray. You will also need the crickets from Activity 4. Do not feed them for two days before the activity. The teacher supplied items include cooked hamburger, a spoon, five by five pieces of construction paper, and a pair of scissors. Make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Use the extra crickets from Activity 4. Place enough crickets in a small plastic container with a lid for each pair of students to have one. Again, do not feed the crickets for two days before this activity begins, but add a small damp paper towel to each container. Place about one cup of cooked, cooled hamburger on the plastic tray along with a packet of ryegrass seeds at the distribution center. Place a spoon next to the hamburger. You will also need some small pieces of grass cuttings from the terrariums. You can cut these now to add to the tray or have the students do it later. Begin the activity by reviewing the concept of plants as producers by asking how do green plants get their food? Can crickets be producers? Explain to students that all animals get their food by eating plants or other animals and are called consumers. This may be a term that they've heard in social studies. If it comes up in the lesson, you may need to take a minute to discuss similarities and differences. Ask the students, what kind of food do you think crickets eat? Pass out activity sheet eight and have the students record their responses. Johanna, how do you think we can find out what crickets prefer to eat? Well, I think they live in an environment that does have some plants. It also has seeds and it might have uh, some animal animals too. So why don't we have some representative of seeds, plants, and animal? Okay, good, let's do. Well, we've got obviously easy to find grass cuttings because we have those in our terrarium mm -hmm. and our, from our kit, we also have the ryegrass seeds. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some cooked hamburger here mm -hmm. that we've just broken up into little pieces. So we, why don't we put these in our container and um, how do you think we should do that so that we're being fair? Okay, I think that we probably would be easier if we didn't mix them all up, but put them in three different places and have the same number of each of these possible foods. Good, and that, that will make it easy to count also, mm -hmm. won't it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do that, and let's, why don't we try five pieces of our grass right. cuttings that we already have down here. Okay. Here, that's one, mm -hmm. two... Three, four, five, five. Okay. okay. I hold that one didn't come. There we go. All right. Okay. Now five now, seeds. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. And then our little pieces of hamburger, right. um, hamburger meat, and I'll just okay. scoop those grass All right. clippings over. All right, we need over. to separate them out. So there's one, mm -hmm. two, three. Let me move this one back over here. Four, five. Okay. 
now. Equal distance apart. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, in previous uh, activities, we've had little shelters for them to be able to hide under. So and to a make, tent. It, make All right, it comfortable. We'll include a little tent mm -hmm. also. Put and that right in the middle. And then we also want to give it a little moisture. So if we take our spray mister and just mist the top, then okay. he'll have some moisture um, in there. Okay. okay. So I think we're ready now to add our cricket. So if you want to put him in, and then we can start looking to see what he does. Now they get in there and they get a little bit anxious, don't they? they well, this is a totally new environment for them. Mm -hmm. They have to have a minute to explore, don't they? Uh -huh. so explore the options. So what do you see him doing? Well, he looks like uh, he's just kind of wandering about. He might be able to smell something. Uh, he's using, look at those antennae. Those, he's really using mm -hmm. those antennae he really to is. explore his environment. He really is. He's looking for a way out, isn't he? Mm -hmm. We have air holes there, so uh, he'll be getting enough oxygen. Mm -hmm. This is pretty typical. They will wander around, and um, at some point, sometimes you will also see them go right straight for the hamburger meat. Um, if they're dehydrated, I think they're going to get more moisture from the hamburger meat, and so they might start off with that. So um, just kind of let the students have plenty of time to observe the crickets in their containers. And then for the next three days, have them uh, uh, give them observation time to uh, observe their crickets. Have students record information about the amount of food eaten in the container each day. After the third day, begin session two. Discuss with the students what they observed. Let's look at our observations. Johanna, what does our data show? Our data actually shows that all three foods were eaten at some time. However, it shows that uh, parts of uh, the foods were eaten. Two parts uh, of seeds were left, two parts of grass were left, and four parts of meat were left. So what would you say that the crickets ate the most of? Well, it's kind of a tie, really, between seeds and grass, which are both related to plants, plants or plants' parts. And they ate the least of? The meat. Okay, so uh, if you had saw crickets in the wild, what do you think they might prefer to eat? I'm sure that they would probably prefer to eat more something related to producers, either seeds or plants. Okay. Review consumer and write primary consumer on the board. Explain to the students that a primary consumer is an animal that eats plants for their food. Have students name other primary consumers. Draw an arrow on the board and tell the students that the arrow represents the food going into or eaten by. Ask them where we should place the grass and the cricket. Explain that this is a simple food chain and shows how the energy is passed through a food chain by going from the grass into the cricket. Have students practice simple food chains using the following pairs. Grass, horse, carrot, rabbit, hay, cow. It's very important that you make sure that the arrows are going the correct direction. Have students add the crickets from this experiment to their terrariums. Empty and wash and dry the containers and lids and return them to the kit. Have students wash their hands. Guide students to review the Delta Science Reader pages six through nine.